Qualitative Analysis of Cations This video clip demonstrates how to identify common cations. To analyze what cation is present in a sample, we can carry out flame tests or add the appropriate reagents and observe the chemical changes. The following parts demonstrate the testing methods for common cations and expected observations. Aluminium ion Aluminium ion is a colorless cation. Sodium hydroxide solution or aqueous ammonia solution can be used for the testing. Add sodium hydroxide solution to a solution containing aluminium ion. A white precipitate is formed. Add is aluminium hydroxide. If excess sodium hydroxide solution is added, the white precipitate will dissolve and a colorless solution will be obtained. If aqueous ammonia solution is added to a solution containing aluminium ion, a white precipitate will be formed. It is aluminium hydroxide. If excess aqueous ammonia solution is added, the white precipitate will not dissolve. Calcium ion Calcium ion is a colorless ion. It can be identified by flame test. In this test, a bright red flame is produced by calcium ion. Furthermore, if sodium sulfate solution is added to a solution containing calcium ion, a white precipitate will be formed. It is calcium sulfate which is water insoluble. Copper 2 iron. Copper 2 iron is a blue iron. It can be identified by flame test. In this test, a blue-green flame is produced by copper 2 ion. Furthermore, if sodium hydroxide solution is added to a solution containing copper 2 ion, a blue gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is copper 2 hydroxide. If aqueous ammonia solution is added to a solution containing copper 2 ion, a blue gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is copper 2 hydroxide. However, if excess aqueous ammonia solution is added, the precipitate will dissolve. Tetraamine copper 2 ion is formed and the solution is turned into deep blue in color. Iron 2 iron. Iron 2 iron is a pale green iron. If sodium hydroxide solution is added to a solution containing iron 2 iron, a green gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is iron 2 hydroxide. If excess alkaline solution is added, the precipitate will not dissolve. The same result will also be obtained if aqueous ammonia solution is added to a solution containing iron 2 iron. Iron free iron. Iron free iron is a pale yellow iron. If sodium hydroxide solution is added to a solution containing iron free iron, 
and brownish red gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is iron free hydroxide. If excess alkaline solution is added, the precipitate will not dissolve. The same result will also be obtained if aqueous ammonia solution is added to a solution containing iron free iron. Zinc iron. Zinc iron is a colorless iron. If sodium hydroxide solution is added to a solution containing zinc iron, a white gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is zinc hydroxide. If excess sodium hydroxide solution is added, the white precipitate will dissolve. Colorless and water soluble zincate iron is formed. If aqueous ammonia solution is added to a solution containing zinc iron, a white gelatinous precipitate will be formed. It is zinc hydroxide. If excess aqueous ammonia solution is added, the white precipitate will dissolve. Colorless and water-soluble tetraamine zinc iron is formed. Ammonium iron if a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide solution, is added to a solution containing ammonium iron and the mixture is heated, a colorless gas will be produced. The gas is ammonia. It turns moist red limous paper into blue color. <laughs>